pig waterer made out of a 55 gallon food grade drum and one water nippler. Today I'm going to be making a pig water. I'm going to be using this 55 gallon drum, food grade one. I want to make sure there was no hazardous or dangerous stuff in it. This one had glycerin. Then you're going to need a nipple waterer, an adjustable wrench, a three quarter inch paddle drill bit, silicone, and I have another threaded piece right here of half inch pipe threads. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill between the 15 gallon and the 10 gallon mark. I want to make sure there's always around 10 gallons of water in here so that way there's some weight so the pigs can't get over and push it and knock it over. The pigs are notorious for getting their nose under stuff and knocking it over. And then this way it'll be at a high enough height for them and if I need to I can put a couple of cinder blocks under it to raise it up off the ground. Then I'm going to heat up my half inch pipe thread with my torch. The reason why I heated up my half inch pipe thread was so I could thread the plastic. How good you guys can see it. I want to be able to thread the plastic so my nippler can thread in nicely. Just gonna take a little bit of silicone and put it on the thread. The silicone might be a little bit of an extra measure, but I'd rather make sure it's not gonna leak. I didn't heat up the nipple because of all the plastic pieces in it. I didn't want to damage or melt anything in that. I'll let the silicone set up for a little while and I'll put it in the pig's pen and I'll take you guys along. They haven't been in there five minutes yet and they're already learning how to use it. As you can see the pigs are pretty smart. It didn't even take them five minutes to figure out how to use it and they're already fighting over it like a bunch of little kids. For an extra precaution, I'm just going to go ahead and I take myself a tie down strap and I'm going to wrap it around the middle of the bucket right around my corner T post. I shut the fence off so I don't have to worry about getting zapped. The pigs are very rough. 
They like to push around stuff, dig and root. As you, I don't know if you can see in the video, but they are pulling on that nipple, biting on the nipple and pulling on it pretty good. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna be able to get it out of the 55 gallon drum. I guess time will tell. If they do, we'll just have to figure out a way to reinforce it. Chalk it up for one more win for Lumna Acres. Less water we gotta be hauling every day. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you have any ideas on how to make it better, how to reinforce anything, let me know. This is, the this is my first time with this water style. I've seen it before. I've had the nipple for a couple of years now. I just never, I've just never made one yet. So, I'll try to go online and I'll try to find out where you can get that nipple. And I'll put a link down below. I'm sure it's pretty easy, but I'll leave the link down below in the description box. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. And we'll see you back here next time at Lumna Acres. So a couple conclusions after just having the water set up for a little bit. I'm definitely glad I drilled the hole out with, with a three quarter inch paddle bit. Then I took a male half inch piece of pipe thread, heated it up, and threaded the plastic. So now the plastic has threads on it. So hopefully that'll keep the pigs from pulling it out because they're really biting on that and yarding on it. So if I would have just went with a little bit bigger of a <clears throat> hole and just lightly threaded in the nippler, it wouldn't have lasted. So definitely a recommendation to go ahead and use a three quarter inch bit, drill it out, get some kind of male pipe thread, heat it up with a torch, and then you can make your own threads in the plastic 55 gallon drum.